Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. I want you to touch gloves now. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. Touch gloves. Good luck. A couple of big men, big crowd. They're both going to try and make something big happen. Jennings smiling in the corner and looking relaxed as he touched his glove to the hand of his trainer, Fred Jenkins. Fred Jenkins, quite outspoken in this week prior to the fight, saying Klitschko is tremendously overrated. Most of what he does is foul and wrestle. A lot of what he does in the ring is illegal, and if it were properly refereed, he wouldn't beat anybody. Jennings comes out using that long jab. Most opponents tend to focus Roy Jones on Klitschko's great jab and hard, straight right hand. In recent fights, the left hook has become a big weapon for him. Yeah, it has, Jim. He's progressively gotten better over the years. Start using more of his toolbox. He uses what's necessary to win fights. And that's, the, which, that's what you want to see in a good champion. And as round one begins, Jennings is moving on his feet, trying to be elusive. Vladimir simply planting his feet and looking for the chance to land the jab. Yeah, bad thing for Jennings already, though, Jim, is that he's gotten close enough to Klitschko, but he didn't hit him with a popping shot to make Klitschko respect him right away. Klitschko's got to be an extra terrifying proposition now. As you mentioned, Jim, really using that left hook in his last fight. He has a blinding jab, a devastating right hand, and that left hook may be his best knockout weapon at the moment. Klitschko brings the right hand over the top. First power punch, he's thrown. Walks Jennings across the ring. Jennings doing a good thing, a good job of moving his head, though, Jim. He hasn't gotten caught with that jab yet, which is surprisingly. He's landed his own jab. So we'll see how long this lasts. And moving his feet and trying to disturb Klitschko's rhythm. But see, the big problem is right there when you're that close to Klitschko, you have to hit him with something big to make him respect you early. And while Jennings has a serious experience deficit here. He may well be the best athlete with whom Vladimir has been in the ring in years. And if that alone may be enough to give Vladimir something to think about. Jennings has much greater capacity for footwork than the kinds of guys Klitschko has been fighting in Europe. Kubrat Pulev of Bulgaria simply stood right in front of him and seemed to wait to be knocked out, and Klitschko obliged him. Yeah, and Jennings just landed a pretty good overhand right, Jim. In a round where not much has happened, a couple of punches like that can carry the round. Certainly, Vladimir hasn't landed anything of major consequence here in round one. He spent most of the time looking at Jennings, throwing only 18 punches so far in the round, as the CompuBox graphic shows you. Which go pawing and tapping with the jab. That's not the popping jab. Now, quick little left hook for Klitschko. Right hand across the top. Jennings felt that right hand. I yes, think. he did. Yes, he did. And that's why he can't stay out there at that range and fight Klitschko. So the right hand toward the end of the round might have been enough to win it for Vladimir. But it was an interesting tactical round as Jennings showed the movement and athletic quality, which he hopes will cause Vladimir breath. problems. Take a deep breath. Relax. Go up down. Nice and relax. Yeah, you got to remember, you got to get up in him. You know what I mean? Them hands tight. Get to your right and get up inside of them. You understand? You gotta get up inside him. You gotta punch him when he's trying to hit you. He's open. He's open. No ice, no ice yet. You gotta warm up. Let him warm up for you. Deep breath. He see Klitschko sneak his right hand right down the side of Jennings' glove. Jennings' gloves. It was high on the head. Didn't really hurt him bad, but it was the biggest punch that Klitschko landed in that round. When you just keep your jab going when you're looking for something. Copy box right. numbers in round one. Klitschko was 8 out of 31. Jennings 4 out of 22. Fred Jenkins told Bryant Jennings in the uh, corner between rounds he needs him to be more active. When you get up close to Klitschko, hit him with something.
Klitschko, not like a wide body or a guy with enormous legs. And it's not often you see this, but he seems to generate a lot of power, Roy, with those big muscular, vascular arms. He does, Max. That's one of the biggest things about him is his massive arms and his shoulders. He and his brother both have very big arms and uh, very big shoulders. That's why they're better at long distance punches, like the straight right lead and the jab. But what Jennings has to do is interject a left hook in his attack because he's throwing the right, but he's never making Klitschko weary of the left hook, which will allow Klitschko not to use the right hand for defense, and he can throw the straight right hand. So throw the left hook to try to make Klitschko keep his right hand at home. You got to because you don't want him to start unloading that right hand. That's what we saw at the end of the first round when he landed that good right hand. Like that right there. Right. Off his back, off his back. If he can throw that at will, he become, it becomes a big problem for the opposition. Klitschko working the jab now a little bit more aggressively than in round one. Jennings tries to get the left hand onto him. Klitschko moving away. Moves pretty well on his feet for a man who is so big. And we talked about the athletic quality of Brian Jennings. Klitschko is not just a big lumbering heavyweight slugger. He's an athlete as well. And a 365-day-a-year athlete who has maintained magnificent conditioning throughout his career. Not a graceful mover, but he gets the job done when he needs to with his legs. One push up, hold. Break, break. Stop. You can't hold him with that hand. Listen to this. You can't hold him. Box. That's it. The way Klitschko moves reminds me of a quarterback with, who, who doesn't maybe get out of the pocket, but moves just well enough in the pocket to avoid the pressure. There goes that left hook we want to see. If he throws that punch, he can make it a very interesting night. He didn't land it, but it makes Klitschko have, have to deal with it. Klitschko's current trainer, Jonathan Banks, was likewise a pupil of Emmanuel Stewart's heavyweight fighter himself with a record of 29-3-1. One thing he's doing differently than Emmanuel, warming Vladimir up earlier and much more liberally in the dressing room before the fight. He says he thinks that Vladimir can start faster and has been the case through much of his career. Hasn't been a particularly fast start here, but he lands okay. another right hand there. Right. Ryan Jennings has only been boxing for six years. Unlike Deontay Wilder, who's seated at ringside tonight, he declined to go to Europe and spar with Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, um, I was asked to be Klitschko's sparring partner maybe about, maybe about four or five times. I think that's the way that, you know, he gets a feel on, 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 on his fighters, you know, because uh, I think just about every one of his opponents you know, he had sparred with. So, uh, you know, I, I chose not to because I had the urge so much to actually fight him. And I wanted to fight him and not spar him. And uh, I seen the dominance in, you know, in the sport with, with him. And, you know, I felt as though that he would still be there, you know, when I get there. No chance Tony Thompson will get up from this. And, hey, I was right. He's still there. He still plans to be there, but Come April 25th, we put that to a stop. Now round three begins in Madison Square Garden. Vladimir Klitschko against Brian Jennings. You can see that Harold Letterman has scored the first two rounds for Klitschko. Almost no one expects the fight to go the full 12 rounds. Go his head. Right, right. Paul, where you want to stop? Come on, let's go. Roy Jones, Deontay Wilder did choose to go to Germany and spar with Vladimir Klitschko and train with him, as did British heavyweight star, Olympic gold medalist in London in 2012, Anthony Joshua, and some other young heavyweights. Uh, what do you think is gained and what is lost when a young prospect goes to uh, the camp of a heavyweight champion and spars with him? Well, you gain experience for sure. That's one thing that you can't get away from. They definitely gain the experience, but what's lost is the element of surprise. Like he said, if you have a big punch and Klitschko is a guy who has been knocked out three times but never has really lost a professional decision, you don't want to go teach him or make him aware of that big punch that you possess. You want to take that as a surprise so that when you do fight him, he walks right into that big punch and maybe you can knock him out. So if you were running Wilder's career, if you were his manager, you would have told him not to do that. No way in the hell would I have sent him over there to spar with Klitschko. 
Earlier in the round, Jennings said something to the ref, and, and uh, right, right. his trainer has been complaining about Klitschko's holding. And I think it had something to do with Klitschko's holding. Jennings was almost giving instructions to the ref, and sure, and then right afterwards, he rushes Klitschko, and Klitschko holds him. And, and he Klitschko, tried to punch out of it. Yeah, Klitschko just landed that good straight right hand over the top of Jennings' jab. Jennings has felt Klitschko's power, and it hasn't even been the full brunt of the power. Yeah, but it really hasn't shown a bad effect on Jennings yet either. And what Jennings needs to do here is he needs to land a big shot like that, or over, or an overhand right. Jennings with a good solid right hand and left hook to the body. He has to land something big to gain some respect. You can't let Klitschko, uh, Vladimir. I mean, yeah, Vladimir stalked you all night long. He's too tall for that. And, and Jennings is trying things. He's trying to rush him. He's trying to throw his rhythm off. Go, go outside, get inside. One perceived deficiency in Vladimir's game, he doesn't throw many body punches, if any at all. Is that because he's worried about being countered? No, I don't think he's worried about being countered. I think he knows that he's so powerful up top that he just wastes you out until you get tired. Then he tries to take you out with a headshot. Bad habit, but I think that's what he does. Just missed with a left hook there, which would have landed with power if he had got Jennings on the chin. Lots of Mayweather Pacquiao programming coming your way. After boxing tonight, it's the premiere of The Legend Speak, a unique look at the fight as seen by boxing greats and also the five men who fought both Mayweather and Pacquiao. May 1 will bring you way in live right here on HBO. The next night, an hour before the pay-per-view begins, we'll have a countdown live with features and interviews. Then it's the live fight, Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. The world will be watching on pay-per-view May 2. That's why you must come to a close, keep the distance, get right back out. You're doing good, just keep boxing, basic boxing. Keep boxing, get each run, keep boxing. Total punches in round three. Vladimir Klitschko was eight out of 35. Brian Jennings was eight out of 28. So Jennings landed at a higher percentage in that round. Neither man has been tremendously active. They're both wary of each other's power. Harold, how do you have it through three? That takes him. I got it three to nothing. Right, three to right. 27. Vladimir Let's Klitschko. Go. You know, Jim, I think that he's getting in that left, Jim. You know, he fights tall. The guy that fights tall has a hard time going to the body. He'd have to lean in to go to the body. But he doubles and triples that left jab. I think he's controlling the fight with the left jab. I got a three to nothing, Vladimir Klitschko. I'm just waiting for that, that big right hand bomb to land on Jennings' jaw to see what happens. Three to nothing, Klitschko. There are a large number of Ukrainian that? fans in the upper deck of Madison Square Garden. We know that because of the preponderance of blue and yellow Ukrainian flags up there. And they came to life when Klitschko landed that series of five or six jabs in a row here earlier in the round. Jennings came back with a fusillade of body punches to the left side of Klitschko's body with his right hand, trying to take some of the starch out of the big man's game. Well, Jim, he's sticking to his game plan. He's trying to wear Klitschko's body down because he realizes that it's very difficult for Klitschko to breathe late in fights. If he can continue to land those body shots and just survive that right hand, he is going to have himself into a good chance to win the fight here within the next couple of rounds. He just has to not get caught. Right, right. In the heavyweight division especially, you get hit on the button, you're going to go. But so far, Jennings has taken Klitschko's right hand pretty well, and he's at least active to the body when there's nothing else for him. Jennings, like right there, will at least touch Klitschko's body, keep his hands moving on the inside. And that's what, go ahead. That's what other guys tend to not do. They don't work his body like they should when they know that he has shown in the past a very difficult time breathing late in a fight. Lurking in the woodwork as Jennings does a pretty good job of dealing so far with Klitschko's right hand, is the left hook. Vladimir has thrown it a few times, got close with it once in an early round. It's been a devastating force for him in recent fights. Three of his four knockdowns of Kubrat Pulov were with the left hook. He's not really throwing it much tonight, though, Jim. Letting to let his hands go with the right hand for sure. It really is amazing that Jennings can fight this well against this dominant heavyweight champion six years in the game. You know who Jennings reminds me of a little bit? He sort of reminds me of a Leon Spinks type guy. 
a guy that just goes in there and lets it all hang out. And, and hands high, and he kind of moves side to side a little bit like Leon when he's being aggressive, a little bit. And he just hit Kitschko, and I think he may have hurt Kitschko with that left hook if it landed. The way he twists his whole body oh. to avoid punches. Yes, good body shot by Jennings. Well, another thing I think Jennings is showing us early on here. Got a pretty doggone good chin. A wonderful beard. He has taken Klitschko's shots. I don't think Vladimir has landed an A-plus yet, but he's landed a couple of B-pluses. And there is Aiden Panettiere at ringside, smiling at the camera as she knows how to do. All he's trying to do is get, get underneath you. That's all he's trying to break your rhythm to get underneath you. That's all he's trying to do. That's why it's so important for you to start pumping that left hand. Keep it pumping, going backwards and start angle. Remember, all in count, we circle, we circle them around, just boxing. You don't gotta move around, just step around, keep boxing, give him angle. Make him open up. That's where your shots go, man. You gotta let the hands go, man. You gotta get close and let them go. So we grab him. We see Kishko start that round out with like three or four jabs right here. One, two, three, four, or three and a half, then he holds. No big right hand, no left hook, Jim, which is what you want to see him throw more of. Time to box numbers in round four. Klitschko, 22 out of 63. Hey, the 63 punches that Klitschko threw in the round, by far his high in the fight. Most of them were jabs. Jennings, eight out of 40. And you saw a graphic earlier that showed you that Klitschko is landing punches upstairs to the head, almost none to the body. Jennings has landed 22 body shots, almost nothing to the head. And in the corner, it sounds like Jonathan Banks feels that Klitschko may be looking for one big shot because he keeps telling him basic boxing and the opportunities will present themselves as the fight wears on. Sometimes a fighter looking for the big shot never pulls the trigger because the opening's not there because he doesn't do the things to create the opening. Moments ago, Jennings landed a good hard left hand right on Klitschko's heart. And that is sometimes a punch that bothers a fighter, Roy. Yes, it is, because he catches him at an, an unoperative time, and he's not expecting the punch to come. Referee is Michael Griffin out of Canada. He's an excellent referee. And you saw him talking to Vladimir there. He said, you can't hold him no more, meaning the rest of this fight, he doesn't want to see clinches. Wait, you get his arm off his back. Box. That's something... Tactically, oh, that, that Jennings camp feels if they take away from Klitschko really improves Jennings' chances. Well, and Klitschko detractors like Fred Jenkins, Jennings' trainer, would say if you take away the holding, you take away his whole game. Well, you also encourage him to throw more punches like this, and that may not be good for you. Well, it's not good for you, but it is good for you because if he doesn't land anything, it makes him tired. And we all know that the Giant does tire badly. Come on, him. Against Lehman Brewster. April 10, 2004, he basically collapsed from exhaustion. Good, good, good. But that was after throwing upward up 90 punches per right, round right. in the early going. Now he hasn't running. made that mistake since. Jennings is trying to get in Klitschko's head, showing him the punches don't have and an effect. Free. Like that. Those are the and type the punches that he low. has to put on Klitschko. Is that goal? Oh, good uppercut by Klitschko. If, if he ever really mastered that punch, the danger of that would be enormous. <laughs> he doesn't throw it very often. He landed it there, the right uppercut. Mainly because he throws it from a straight up position, Jim. He doesn't lean left or right hardly, so he doesn't see many opportunities to throw it. Straight right hand by Klitschko. Jennings drops his hands to say, oh, you can't hurt me. And comes back ripping to Klitschko's body. Tough guy, Jennings, because he took that tough shot and came right back. And now Vladimir threw a body shot. You don't see that very often. That tells you that the body shot that Jennings hit him with must have hurt because it reminded him to throw a body shot. He retaliated. Yes, he did. And I'm telling you, Jennings is looking really good right here because I mean, Vladimir Klitschko does not like to be uncomfortable or feel like he's threatened in the ring. He's, long, he's losing the rounds, but I agree, Roy, he's doing something here to Klitschko. Annette Jennings, grandmother of Bryant Jennings, seated at ringside. Smiling as she sees herself on camera. He had a job at the Federal Reserve Bank working. in Philadelphia. He gave it up working. last year to become working. a full-time boxer. He's been training down working. at Houston. He thinks he sees improvement in his game as the result of that. You gotta keep working him. Keep working him. Okay. Keep working him, son. Keep working him. 
You got to keep working. Make him come get you. He can start stretching out, and that's when you go see your opening. He got to make mistakes. He's not used to boxing. You a much better boxer than him. Start boxing. Use your legs and box. He sees Jennings after that jab. Tell Klitschko, you can't hurt me. Come on. And then he tried a good jab to the body, but Klitschko uh, paired it with his left hand. Copy box numbers in round five. Klitschko 13 out of 49. Jennings 12 out of 36. 41 of Klitschko's 62 connected punches so far in the fight are jabs. But that means 21 of them were power punches. He's had a couple of good right hands, but really hasn't been able to land an A-plus power shot so far. This is always the danger with this kind of strategy to break Klitschko at this point in the fight. It succeeded in the few fights that Klitschko's lost earlier in his career. That was another good body shot, though, Max. And nobody has done this to Klitschko in quite some time. In a long time, but the danger, of course, is you open yourself up more, and Klitschko is a finishing kind of puncher. So you have to get through that danger zone in order to implement that strategy. Jennings looks like he's willing to do it. Well, that was a good jab by Klitschko, and Jennings told him, good jab. Yep. Jennings was getting ready to make a move inside, and Klitschko stopped him in his tracks with the jab, which Jennings acknowledged. Just in case you thought it was a lot of Ukrainian-Americans in the crowd, Jim, that USA chant goes up. Some people are here for Jennings. And I'm telling you, Jennings is the type of hustler that you don't want to let stick around for the late round. Fred Jenkins, Jennings' trainer, has been very corner, or very vocal in his corner, I should say. Let's take a listen for a moment to Fred Jenkins and the instructions he's sending to his fighter. Break, 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 break. Right back, right back. Right back! Box. Keep fighting, B. Keep fighting. The jab! Keep the jab going! Get close to it, B. Get close to it. Don't stand there! There you go! Mike! Mike! Guys, Michael Griffin, the referee, told Klitschko not to hold. If you keep oh, holding, I'm oh, gonna take him. a point. That counts as the first warning. You hear two of those from a ref, the third time usually he will take a point. And I do think Klitschko is making a concerted effort to avoid holding in the normal rhythm for him. Which has given him something extra to think about and maybe inhibiting some of the punting. And so that's smart from Jennings Camp because he stopped holding right when he started getting those warnings. Meanwhile, Jonathan Banks continues to tell Vladimir, you're a better boxer, box with him. But Jennings isn't making it all that easy. He's got this sort of funky, herky-jerky style. He's stepping in and stepping out, moving side to side sometimes, using his athletic abilities to frustrate and confuse Klitschko. So reminiscent of Leon Spitz. Right, get off his mind. In the first Ali fight particularly. Leon Spinks had a great deal more experience than Brian Jennings. Once again, it's amazing that Jennings can do what he's doing after only six years of boxing. Mike, 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 go punch him, go punch him. Come on, come on. Vladimir's been boxing for 27 years. That's it. Step to the left, step to the right. You're allowed to move. Just box the man. That's all you got to do. That's what I'm doing. Right. He cannot box better than you. When he come inside, go ahead and shut him down. Don't let him get no points on the inside. Shut him down like you're doing. And keep the jab pumping. That's all you got to do. You come in, check hook, step around. Or right back to your jab. He see him jump in with a lead hook, followed by an overhand right there. Finally got to Klitschko's chin. Jennings, that is. It didn't hurt him, but it did get to his chin. All right, you gotta make him work a little more. Make him work. Brian Jennings trying to break Vladimir Klitschko down brick by brick, step by step, and making some progress, but maybe not oh, winning boy, rounds. Let's see how Harold Lutterman has it Hands halfway through. Okay, Jim, I got a 59, 55, five rounds to one Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, Jim, up until the sixth round, I thought Vladimir was winning every round that left Jim. But I got to tell you, in round six, I thought Brian Jennings got inside, did enough damage, and won the sixth round. 
now. If he keeps up that aggressiveness and gets under Vladimir's left jab, maybe he can do some more damage and win a couple of more rounds and make this fight close. One thing I've, obs I've observed, Jim, Vladimir is not throwing his right hand. I don't care what anybody says. He throws a right hand here and there. I've been looking for that big right hand the whole fight. He's throwing left jabs. He's winning a fight with the left jab, and he's sticking to it. I don't know if he hurt his right hand or what, but look, he throws all left jabs. Five to one, Jenny. Klitschko. Jennings landed his best shot of the night, a right, left hook right. on Klitschko's chin. Jennings started gradually turning the tide. Not enough to win rounds until maybe that last round, but that's got to be discouraging for Klitschko. But this guy who's in front of him, talking to him, upsetting his rhythm. By the midway point in the fight, wins a round, has done some good work in the last 30 seconds. Spirited effort by the challenger. And he just landed a really good right uppercut on the inside. Which Vladimir felt compelled to answer with an uppercut of his own. Yes, he did. So just as he answered the body shot with a body shot a couple of rounds ago, he answered the uppercut with an uppercut as if to say, okay, you got me, I need to even it back up. Brian Jennings is creating some new fans in the crowd here as more and more American fans seem to be warming to the possibility oh, no. that Jennings can get something done. Well, he's a competitor, and that's what people are picking up on and rallying behind in the crowd. And he's learning on the job, Max. He's really learning how to deal with a real good professional prize fighter on the job. Kind of like old school Freddie Pillerton. The patron saint of fighters with bad records, <laughs> but Jennings got an undefeated one. But he still learned it on the job. Say good fighters with bad records if we're talking about bad Freddie Pendleton. Fast Freddie. Good try by Klitschko. Jennings frustrating Vladimir with his feet this round. If you don't land punches that way. Harold Letterman is right in the sense that something has taken Vladimir Klitschko's right hand away for the past few rounds. Let's go very cautious as he sizes up Jennings. You know, but prods him with the jab, but doesn't throw the right hand. And he doesn't throw left hooks either, though. It's not like Klitschko is really doing the left hook, so it's basically just the jab. Very reluctant to let his hands go in that round. Cinco de Mayo is a big day both on the Mexican calendar and here at HBO. First, tune in for the premiere of 24-7 Canelo Alvarez, James Kirkland. As both men prepare for their matchup, then it's the fight game. Join me along with Max Kellerman and Michelle Beadle as we look toward Canelo Kirkland and back at Mayweather Pacquiao. And then May 9, live on HBO, it's a fascinating matchup. Canelo Alvarez versus James Kirkland, live from Houston, Texas. Terrence Crawford at the fight. Last night, he was here in New York at the United States Boxing Writers Association dinner, accepting his award as the 2014 Boxing Writers Fighter of the Year. Coming off, of course, of his big knockout win over Tomas Delorme last week in Arlington, Texas. You guys covered it. He was tremendous. Yes, he was. Measure twice, cut once. I mean, he took the measure of Delorme and then just executed his game plan. Box man. Copy box numbers through round seven. Klitschko, 55 of 222 jabs, only 26 out of 80 power shots. Jennings, only 11 out of 57 jabs, but besting Klitschko in the power area, 43 out of 150 thrown. We go to round eight of his schedule 12. A lot of people thought Jennings couldn't possibly be around at this point, but here he is. And I think, think he just landed a really good left hook on Klitschko, too. Every now and then, he's done that from the beginning of this fight. Every now and then, Jennings gets in a big shot that lets Klitschko know I'm here and I'm competitive and maybe puts a little doubt in his mind. Another left hook lands for Jennings. Yes, it was. I think they traded left hook that time. And they're fighting now as though Klitschko is the one who believes he has something to lose and is concerned about it. And Jennings is almost reckless at this moment, thinking I've got nothing to lose. So he just took that left hook two times really well. Here's the right hand for Klitschko. Whatever the outcome here, some other heavyweights might be getting brave watching this fight so far including Deontay Wilder, who's here ringside watching this. Or another American, Joseph Martin, who's 21-0-1 now. Or Tyson Fury, or several other heavyweights who have their eyes on Klitschko, on the heavyweight champ. And push him. 
And Tyson Fury has a little cousin that's a pretty good fighter himself as a heavyweight. The point is, Klitschko looks right, more vulnerable right. here than he has in a long time. Exactly right. And maybe because he's fighting a better opponent than he's fought in a long time. Definitely a better athlete. Yeah, that's really the key. It's an athletic performance by Jennings. And Klitschko hasn't been in with a lot of great athletes. Oh, and there's a certain level of determination here, too. Determination doesn't just mean coming forward and throwing punches. It means sometimes having the discipline to know when to play defense and stick to that, not just give in to this sense that there's impending doom. Body shots for Jennings. Klitschko looking a little bit more aggressive, looking determined to try to land something big. Almost as though Vladimir now feels embarrassed by what's happening and wants to do something definitive to reverse the momentum. Michael Griffin, the referee, not letting Klitschko get away with much, even that little push he sometimes has after he lands that jab. No pushing, he told him right, right away. Right. And all the while that we're trumpeting the marvelous performance as we see it by Bryant Jennings, we keep in mind that our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman, up to this point, ah, right, has go, only go, given go, Jennings go, one go. round. That's a much better round than you did all, all, all this round. Much better round. You opening them up. That's what I'm saying. That's why I told you, just take your time and box this kid. He don't know what he's doing. Every time you hit him with a big shot, because you open them up. Keep boxing him. That's the way you do best with your legs and boxing. That's all you got to do. It takes effort. It takes no energy. Move. Right here, straight back. He's right there, son. After, while he's trying to hit you, that's when you got to hit him. While he's trying to hit you, son. He sees Jennings jump and land the left hook, but he relaxed as he landed it, and he got caught with the same left hook, and I think actually Klitschko's hook had more on it than the Jennings hook because it turned Jennings all the way around. Tommy Box averages per round through eight. Klitschko 11 out of 43. Jennings eight out of 30. And you wonder if Jennings needs to throw more than 30 punches per round to really be in the fight as we go down the stretch. And Harold Letterman gives that round to Vladimir Klitschko as well. <laughs> so he's safe on the scorecard by and large as we get to the late rounds. At least on Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. And now comes the next level of performance. You're right, Jennings has been very impressive in many respects and yet he's lost probably almost every round. At a certain point, being impressive isn't enough. Is Jennings then willing to sell out. He thinks it takes to actually get the win. And that means trying to knock Pichko out because as a professional, he has never lost a fight on a scorecard. And of course, if Jennings decides to open up and try to knock Klitschko out, he'll give Klitschko a better chance of knocking him out. Of course, but he knew that coming into the fight. That's the last one now. You hold this guy again, I'm taking a point for you. Let's go. Box, time in, box. So Michael Griffin tells Vladimir Klitschko, that's the last warning. You hold him again, and I'm going to deduct the point. That's precisely how a ref should behave. You call time out before you tell him that. You put it in his mind, this is a real thing. If you do, and you've already warned him, if you do it again, it will cost you a point. And Brandon Jennings just went for the gusto right there. He barely missed him, but he did throw a right hand, an overhand right, that if it had landed, we may have had some problems. And the crowd went ooh and ah, recognizing exactly what you saw. And there's a hard right hand for Jennings. Cut Klitschko on the chin. And with a hard jab behind Let's it. Go. And you see him throwing the body shots right now. Vladimir Berent concertedly holding his hands apart and trying to show Griffin, I'm not holding it. And Vladimir is bleeding under his left eye. Jennings reaches with the right hand again. Get off him, get off him, break! Step back. Step From back. that right hand. Boy, that, the Jennings camp is 100% correct. When Klitschko is not allowed to use oh. that hold. Hard right hand by Klitschko, hurt Jennings. I don't know that it hurt him, but it was a sure, it was a really good shot. 
Yeah, I may be overestimating the degree to which it hurt him, but it was a good shot. Hold on, I'm so oh, another good body without, shot by Jennings. Without the clinching, Klitschko is just in greater jeopardy than we've seen in a long time. And you see the even look on his face. I wouldn't say panic, but concern. Of course it's concern. Right. Another good body shot by Jennings. You see Klitschko's right side red from those left hooks. Jennings taking advantage of the free hands created by Michael Griffin's very disciplined enforcement of a no-holding uh, rule against Vladimir Klitschko. Hayden Panateri looks nervous. You gotta, you gotta get your distance. When you come close and back up, you gotta get, that's why I get you. That's why I got you moving. Every time he makes mistakes, it's because you are moving. You start moving and just boxing, moving and boxing. That left hand, you, you're, not go, you're not about to get the one-two. You got to get a jab hook, jab hook, then, then shoot jab hook right hand. You're not going to get the one-two. He's paying attention to every right hand you throw. He sees Jennings try very hard to land this overhand right. He missed it. Klitschko did the right thing. He just stepped towards it and turned that shoulder like you saw, saw him doing in the locker room before the fight started. That was great defense, but here you see Klitschko land the best right hand of the night, I think, right on the chin, and Jennings' legs did not buckle at all. As a matter of fact, Jennings stopped and looked at him before he jabbed. Well, that's a tough beard. He has a good chin, no question about it. Klitschko was 9 of 49 in that oh, round. Jennings outlanded him, 16 out of 36. His high number of landed punches in the fight. Harold, how do you have it through nine? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, round nine, Brian Jennings got in inside and landed some shots. I mean, I gave Brian Jennings the ninth round. I wish he'd keep it up. Rush Klitschko and whack him. But I got to tell you, Jim, you guys are praising Michael Griffin. I would have started round one and taken, taken points away from Vladimir. Vladimir grabs it. There he goes again. He's grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. Right. I, I mean, when Fred Jenkins counts up the number of times that Vladimir held Brian Jennings after this fight is over, he's going to find that Vladimir held him an awful lot. He's doing it again right there. You can't let him get away with that. Harold, I, don't, I don't regard that as holding. He goes he's got his glove up here. Right here. And now he's going to take the point. All right. He's going to take a point for holding, so I'm, hold I'm overruled. Over he heard you, Harold. And of course! Hey, it's about it's time! <laughs> no more. Box. I don't think, I think when the holding started to get towards the egregious side, Griffin started getting stern with Klitschko, and there he took a point. And Jennings just landed another up, uppercut on the inside. Klitschko started, Jim, to hold, and then, once the clinch was effective, released his arms when Jennings, was, Jennings wasn't in a position to punch him to see, say, see, I'm not holding, but he was. He began the clinch. Seven years ago, Vladimir Klitschko came here for a much-heralded heavyweight title defense against Russian Sultan Ibragimov. The crowd was big. A lot of movers and shakers from New York came to see the heavyweight champion. Ibragimov ran and hid all night long. Klitschko wasn't able to knock him out. People were disappointed. He got bad reviews, and he didn't come back to the United States for a long, long time. If he doesn't knock Jennings out tonight, it might be a repeat of exactly the same experience. Meantime, this referee's disciplining of Klitschko. Vladimir, moments ago, went to start a clinch and then stopped, realizing he could get another point deducted. And as a result, we've had better action over the last 30 seconds. Good shot by Vladimir. Let him go! Break! 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 Let him go! Let him go! Good body shots body by Body shots Jennings. by Jennings. An excellent fusillade of body shots. Klitschko continues to look upstairs. Jennings landing more punches than Klitschko in this round, Jennings, as was the case in the last. Jennings believes that Klitschko's body has to work harder in a tough fight because he is so big, and that he can take advantage of that in the late rounds. Get off him, get off him. He got to punch more, Max, right. to take advantage of it. He isn't throwing big head shots now like he should be to make Klitschko weary and make Klitschko worry. Left hook by Klitschko, he hasn't thrown many of those. There you go, that's what he has. Jennings with his hands free, working the body. I gotta get a couple more of them. Those are the flurries. Those are the flurries. Deep breath. 
You're not even breathing. Test him, man. Test him again, man. Test him, test him again. B-Y, you got to look straight up the middle with them shots. Straight up the middle. Straight up the middle, okay? Straight up the middle. Straight up the middle. He's open for the straight shots now. Fake him and straight up the middle. He see Klitschko land a good uppercut on the inside, followed by a right, left, right, and he doesn't clinch another left, and he does not clinch after that because he'd already lost a point. And there's the reaction from Mrs. Klitschko at ringside. Increasingly emotionally involved, or so it seems, in the fight. Copy box numbers in the 10th round. Again, Jennings outlanded Klitschko, 16 of 38 to 11 of 47. I'm not suggesting that if there's any immediate danger of this, but after the first point comes the second point. After the second point comes the DQ. There's, there's not too many, there's only two rounds left. But I think Klitschko already has that in mind, that he better fight and not hold. Harold Letterman saw Klitschko winning the round, that's why it was 9-9 nine, nine on his scorecard. It also speaks to Klitschko's dominance that if a determined undefeated contender can win a couple rounds from him in the first 10, we consider it something of an upset already. That's a testament to how dominant Klitschko's been over the last decade. I'm going, Vlad. Break, break. And hold. So what you're saying is that Jennings is covering the point spread. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Push Especially the psychological point spread. I tell you what, with this effort that he's giving, I wouldn't be surprised if people would like to oh, see God. this again because if he can do this off of six years of boxing, imagine what he's going to be able to do after experiencing this. We don't know about this again, but certainly people will take more of an interest in the career of Brian Jennings. It would be interesting to see if Vladimir would entertain the notion of a rematch. I'd like to see the rematch because Jennings, with such little experience, yeah. is learning so don't much here him, that him, I think he deserves him. another shot at it. Eventually. And if the scores are 117, 110, for instance, you would still want to see a rematch? Yes, I would. Because once he goes home and, and looks at the tapes, something that he's never had the opportunity to really do behind the loss because he's only been boxing six years, he'll realize the things that he should have did the things he should have increased on to maybe get himself a victory. I agree on every point. There's, there's four minutes left in the fight, so it's not over yet. Maybe a rematch eventually is my opinion. I don't know about immediate. Let's see what happens in the rest of this fight. Two good right hands by Pitchko. Didn't seem to bother Jennings. No, his chin has held up oh, amazingly break, well. Break. Klitschko took the chance of wrapping his left arm around Jennings' head there. Griffin could have thought about taking another point, it seems, but didn't. And we got to give Klitschko some credit, too. He has to be in pretty good shape to be able to withstand this because he's not been able to hold, which has caused him to have to be more active, throw right. more punches, right. and be set to fight much more than he's used to doing in a 12-round bout. He's having a pretty good 11th round. He's outlanded Jennings in the round, and he landed a couple of solid right hands. See how determined Jennings is to win this thing in the 12th. right leg back for when he push you. He, every time he hits you, he open. You cover up, he's right there, son. Remember I tell you, you got to punch right off of that cover. Yeah, hold it, hold it one second. Good job. Good job. Good job. How you feel? She put up 12. She put up 12. All right, she put up 12. You got more experience in the 12th round than he got in his whole life, man. Just move and box this kid. Same thing he, he's trying to do with Samuel Peters did. Move and box his last round. St stay your rhythm. You don't got to stand in front of him. Keep your rhythm. Move and box. Your defense is way better. Bruce Willis in the crowd. As Bryant Jennings may be in a die-hard situation. Can he go the whole nine yards? We're about to find out. Fox, fellas. 12th round. Since the loss to Lehman Brewster in uh, 2004, Vladimir Klitschko's won 21 consecutive fights, 15 of them by knockout. So he's been in the 12th round before, including in the fight with the Bragamoff here in Madison Square Garden. 
Jennings Mexico has, seems annoyed by Jennings at this point. Jennings has come out in this 12th and final round to try to win, at least early in the round. Showing energy. This is when he has to be most careful. But we can already see if he wants to play it safe, Jennings, he can go the distance with Klitschko. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to try to play it safe, but he has to be careful, Jennings. Has to be careful not to get caught with a big punch while he's trying to land one. And while we're talking about all the marvelous things we think Brian Jennings has been able to do in probably losing the fight, Vladimir Klitschko has a lot of energy and a lot of bounce in his foot at this moment for a 240-pound fighter in the 12th round at age 39. Yes, he does, Jim. Isn't that amazing? Almost 40 years old. Well, that was a tough four-punch combination Jennings just took in the 12th round in the middle of the ring at Madison Square Garden with the heavyweight championship on the line, and he's still coming forward. And I think that last jab was the hardest, most telling punch of that combination. More than halfway through the oh. 12. Another big right hand by Klitschko. If that didn't get him out of nothing weird. That was a good shot right there. That may have hurt. Boy, that may have hurt Jennings. Blood coming from Jennings' shot. mouth now. After oh, no. the big right hand by Klitschko. And that was a devastating no punch. Klitschko is used to guys falling down when they taste that right hand. Absolutely right. Oh, your hands are free. Break. Not many fighters in the last 11 years have taken that shot and stood up, but Jennings did. That may have taken the fight out of him, Jim. Yeah. He's moving like that punch will hurt him worse than his shoulder or left hook lands for Klitschko as well. Now yep. the left hook and another right. Finally, Jennings breaks out of his shell and tries again. Klitschko is keeping him at bay with hard shots. Down the stretch in the 12th round. Another right hand. Bravo Jennings. Klitschko's closing the show like a champion. Yes, he is. He has dominated the 12th round. Seconds to go. Klitschko wants one more shot. And they make it to the bell. A lot of respect right there. That was not a guy going the distance with Klitschko because he was stinking it out. That was a guy going the distance based on his moxie and his talent. And his chin. And his chin. And as much praise as we've heaped on Bryant Jennings, most likely that was the 18th consecutive successful title defense of the heavyweight championship by Vladimir Klitschko. Most likely. Copy box numbers in round 12. Klitschko was 15 out of 51. Five of 27 for Jennings. And almost all of Jennings' 27 throws were in the first two minutes of the round before he ate that very big right hand from Klitschko that bloodied his mouth. And might have been the hardest shot that Vladimir threw all night. Yeah, this is the type of right hand that usually sits buildings down, not people. Watch him right behind that jab. He jabs, steps forward, and bing, right down the middle with a straight right hand. That punch usually knocks guys out. Jennings showed a remarkable, a remarkable chin in taking that punch, and this is in the 12th round. And I mentioned the score might be 117 to 110. There's your basic 117 to 110. Harold, we see your score. Who are the official judges? Except you do it four rounds ago. It's amazing. Max DeLuca from California had Chris Algieri uh, 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 decision over uh, Ruslan Provat. Well, he scored it for Ruslan Provatnikov over Algieri, which I thought was the right score, even though Algieri won. Robin Taylor, good judge from New York. Uh, she had uh, Guillermo Rigandau, 120, 108 over Joseph Agbeko. That was absolutely correct. Steve Weistrug, we all know from Boxing After Dark. Uh, he had Manny Pacquiao ahead 47-46 when Juan Manuel Marquez knocked him out. I thought Steve had the right score there. Well, I think the Ukrainians in the crowd, and there are a lot of them, came to watch Vladimir Klitschko knock Brian Jennings out. The Americans in the crowd, who were rooting for Jennings, were hoping for a competitive performance, maybe even a win, and they got something like that. That's Jennings' son, seated there with his grandmother. 
There's Hayden Panettiere, nervously awaiting the decision. And blowing kisses to her public, which is large. Vladimir now lives much of the time in Nashville, Tennessee, because of Hayden's association with the television series that films there. Wow. And now Michael Buffer has the decision in hand, so let's go to him to learn who has what. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mecca of Sports and Entertainment, Madison Square Garden, New York City, we go to the scorecards. Robin Taylor and Steve Weisfeld both have it 116 to 111. Max DeLuca scores at 118-109. All three scorecards to the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the unified heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko. Final CompuBox numbers. Vladimir Klitschko landing 34 more punches and throwing considerably more, 169 more punches than did Bryant Jennings. Jennings landing at the slightly higher connect percentage, 29%. Partially that reflects the fact that he was mostly targeting Klitschko's large body, while Klitschko was mostly targeting Jennings' moving head. Power shots, Klitschko landing 52. Only one of them, to my memory, was a body shot. The rest of them all upstairs. Jennings landing 94. The vast majority of them were body shots. And uh, Jennings throwing more power punches because he was pounding away to the body so frequently, particularly close on the inside. Here is the punch zone graphic that shows you where the punches landed. And there's the disparity we were discussing. Glitchko landing a total of six counted body punches during the fight, whereas Bryant Jennings landed 83 of those. Klitschko landing 138 punches upstairs on Jennings, and Jennings landing 26 times upstairs on Vladimir Klitschko. So once again, Vladimir Klitschko comes to Madison Square Garden and holds on to his title in a performance which is likely to garner mixed reviews. Let's go to Max Kellerman in the ring. Congratulations, champ, on a tough win. He seemed to give you more problems in this fight, though you won by a wide margin, than we're used to seeing you get in the ring. How was he able to do that, do you think? Very competitive opponent that I faced in the recent years, absolutely. Great hand speed, great footwork, very athletic. Great desire to win the fight and be champion. He has been even talking between the rounds and trying to, like, making Ali Fraser the opposite way while Ali was talking, so. You gave me a great challenge, congratulations. I think you, you're gonna give in the heavy division a lot of a lot of good challenges to the next fights as well. So good job, thank you. You didn't seem to be throwing your right hand as much as we anticipated. You see, you used the jab a lot, not a lot of hooks, and, and really not a lot of right hands. Is your right hand okay? My right hand is okay. Brian didn't give me a chance to throw the right hand as much as I wanted. It has to do probably with also Philly style, same like Eddie Chambers, where um, a lot of body movement to keep me off balance and get me closer distance. His camp made a big deal before the fight about you clinching, and the referee wound up taking a point uh, eventually. Did that? How did that affect your fight? It is what it is. I don't want any complaints. Um, sometimes when fighter is shorter than you, things like that happens, and then. The judgment must be better free, and that's how he did too. We were talking ringside about whether next or in the future at some point, considering his limited experience and the performance he put on, whether you'd be interested in doing that again, would you? Do again what? With Brian Jennings. Well, I didn't see challenge where I'm going to say that was so tight that we need to fight again. And as a champion, you have a lot of obligations. I think uh, that's the only free title defense it was. And now I have to do all the mandatory defenses. 
You just came off a fight on American TV on HBO where you scored a spectacular knockout. Now you're coming off a tough fought win in Madison Square Garden, in a f almost sold out Madison Square Garden. How do you feel about fighting in this country again and connecting with the American fans? I feel great to be back after seven years break. I love to fight here. Fans all the world love to come also to the States and, for example, for example, in New York and see the fight at the Garden. Absolutely great experience. I want to say thank you very much to every, every spectacular that came here for Jennings and also for Klitschko. I hope you enjoy the 12 round fight. Thanks, champ. Thank you. Leodore. Brian Jennings, hard to imagine that six years after you pick up the sport, you go in with a dominant heavyweight champion of the world and not only go 12 rounds, but win some rounds and make it interesting. How did you do it? Uh, well, it's that confidence that they all question me about. You know, uh, I'm a man and he's a man. And when we get in, in, in between these four squares, that's what we're here to do. This is the sport and we come to fight and we come to put it all on the line and we accept any outcome, win, lose or draw. Nevertheless, as, as incredible as it is that you've come so far so fast, he did win the majority of the rounds and won by a fairly comfortable decision there, even with the point deduction. It, what did you learn from this experience? Well, if you actually look at it, I think I was getting off just as much when he was holding, four or five shots to the body. I know I let off maybe about 100, 100 right hooks to the body. It wasn't a lot of face shots. You know, I wasn't really focused on the face because, you know, his, 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 uh, his prevent is, you know, is pretty, uh, pretty effective. But I was landing shots and I was taking whatever he threw. He, uh, did he hurt me? Uh, maybe. But I went in there and I did what I was supposed to do and I think that the scorecards was, uh, was, way, was way off. I think, it, I think it was maybe a bit closer to the fight. Probably could have went either way. The way I felt, I felt as though I didn't get hurt. You know, I was throwing punches as well, so I felt as though it should have been a little closer. That wide margin was, that was, I don't agree with that. Thanks, Brian Jennings. Impressive performance. Jim.